Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my channel, The Homespun Hive. My name is Shelby and today I am going to share with you guys how we cook gluten free, what we eat in a day. Um, we generally keep things gluten free at home. I'm going to talk a little bit more about why later when I go outside to have my coffee. Just come along with us while I cook us breakfast, lunch, dinner, some in between snacks, and maybe a few extra things here and there hang out with us for the day. Right when the girls wake up, they ask for a snack, so today I'm going to cut them some apples. And now that the girls are munching on their apples, and so am I, I'm going to heat up my pan to make some scrambled eggs with a side of sausage for breakfast. The sausage that I'm using today is a chicken sausage and I find it at our Aldi's grocery store. Um, it's not certified gluten free, but it meets all of my standards and I don't see any wheat ingredients on the back, so it works for us. And to cook those up, I have them thawed out in the fridge overnight and I'm just going to fry them up in that pot with a little bit of oil. Now that my oil is hot in my pan, I'm gonna grab some eggs and crack them right in the pan. I like to scramble my eggs in the hot pan versus in a bowl. It saves me a dish to wash and I find that they turn out pretty fluffy that way. These eggs are from our chickens in the backyard. You can check out some of my other videos where I talk more about them, but we've just started to finally get a decent amount every day, so I'm pretty proud of them. And I'm also going to grab some more fruit today. I'm grabbing a pear to serve with our breakfast too. Okay, so now we had breakfast. I am making my coffee and then I'm gonna take our scrap bucket out for our chickens. Um, I just have some scraps from cooking dinner last night. So I am gonna go enjoy coffee with my chickens and I'm gonna try to hold the camera and the coffee. I might have to come back. So we are a gluten-free family out of uh, pure necessity for our health. My youngest daughter was born with eczema. Uh, it was really severe and it took a long time to figure out 
what her triggers were and it wasn't until I went completely um, like whole foods plant-based vegan that her eczema completely went away but then our health started to decline as well we really I really found that um, me personally I needed um, animal fats and proteins and things like that in my diet and um, her teeth actually started going downhill as well at like 18 months really young age to start seeing the kind of decay that we were seeing so we decided to start using um, animal products again and then we were able to see what her eczema triggers were and one of the biggest ones besides cow dairy was wheat so um, we have we are gluten free for her but also for me because I know I feel my best um, eating gluten free when I have too much wheat I tend to get like autoimmune symptoms. Um, any kind of weak points in my body are like exacerbated. I have a lot more inflammation and um, just weird pains and aches when I eat a lot of wheat. So I definitely try to stay away from it. My husband's skin is a lot clearer when he eats less wheat, and the same with my older daughter. Her skin seems to be a lot happier without wheat in our diet. So what you'll see on this video today is us eating completely gluten free and also mostly dairy free. Um, Costco carries a really good cheap cheese. It's called Manchego. It's a hard cheese so you can shred it and um, slice it and put it on burgers and things like that. And then there's Frenchie. Um, then our food co-op also offers a goat cheddar or some of our um, health food stores also have like a hard goat cheddar which um, Cora and I both respond well to and they taste really good too so if you have a hard time with your eczema and you cut out wheat and there's just something else that you know needs to change try cutting out cow dairy and um, if you feel like you still need those um, cheese in your diet then you should try sheep or goat cheese So every time we're outside, almost every single time, the girls ask for grapes. We have a grapevine growing on the neighbor's side of the fence, and he doesn't seem to mind too much that we eat them up all day, every day. So now it's later in the day before lunch and the girls are hungry so I'm going to fix them up a snack. I'm going to grab some of that manchego sheep cheese that I talked about from Costco that we keep on hand and I'm going to serve it with some gluten free crackers that again I found at Aldi's. They're gluten free and corn free and they have some pretty clean ingredients so I like to let the girls have those. Alright, so now it's lunchtime, and I'm just gonna grab that pan, put some water in it, and steam up some veggies and serve them with some rice from dinner last night. It's just plain white rice, and that will be our lunch. Oh, and I'm gonna add some chickpeas or garbanzo beans, whatever you wanna call them, and a good slab of butter too. So with my rice, it was made the night before. It's not a big deal to heat up with those veggies, but if I wanted to have rice and veggies for lunch, I wouldn't mind cooking up some rice in the afternoon. It cooks up quick. It's not something you have to stand over and constantly manage in the middle of the day. So I don't find that a big deal and it's easy because it's gluten-free too. 
Now when it comes to my rice, I do like to soak it overnight the night before I cook it. That's just going to make it more easily digestible and I find that it doesn't seem to bother me as much um, when I soak it the night beforehand. So full disclosure, my kids did not eat all of that lunch, but we've been having some issues with them just wanting to snack all day and not really eating any like food food like from their meals. So I did keep their lunch back and then after quiet time and naps, um, they asked for like snacky things and I had them eat their lunch like finish their lunch first before I was going to serve them anything else. So now their lunch stuff is finished and I am going to make them some strawberries and I'll put some cashews on the side. And do you guys want um, coconut too? Cora, do you want coconut? Okay. And cashews? Yeah? Okay. So strawberries, um, coconut, and cashews then. dinner time. That's the goal here because I want to cook dinner in like two hours so we'll see. Alright guys it is dinner time and I'm gonna make some meatballs with mashed potatoes and asparagus. I'm using ground turkey for my meatballs and the recipe does ask you to use breadcrumbs in the meatballs and I saw in the comments that someone used almond meal or almond flour so I'm gonna give that a try and I'm gonna put the link for this recipe down below I haven't tried it before so I'll let you guys know and I'll let you see what it looks like when I'm done but for now I am just chopping onions and stuff and yes I'm watching YouTube while I'm cooking that's like my guilty pleasure it's quiet the kids are outside and I'm gonna cook and watch my shows <laughs> so I will report back when I'm done Thanks for hanging out with me and seeing what we eat in a day. Gluten free, the meatballs were all right. And um, what I just did for the asparagus is um, steam them lightly in a pan and then put some butter and salt on them. I did mashed potatoes and those were just boiled potatoes that I mashed, put some butter, some mayo, salt and pepper in them and they were all right. I just hope that this helps you see that eating gluten free does not have to be overly complicated. You can make it simple. It doesn't have to be a pantry full of pre-packaged, gluten-free foods. You can eat in a whole foods way. Again, check out my 50 gluten-free whole food snack ideas blog post. The link is below. Like I said, the meatball recipe is gonna be below too. And um, I just hope that this can inspire you to eat gluten-free and you can see how easy it is. If you wanna see more of our days of eating gluten-free, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section below and I would love to do more of these for you guys. So yeah, thanks for hanging out with me.